Guys, what's up? Peace. So this is it. Just come back from a session. So uh, let's go and have a look what you do once you've got back home. Let's go. So, what you always want to be doing is make sure that you wash everything with fresh water. I don't like the idea of, oh no, it's salt, so it's going to be okay, it's fine. No, salt, sand, grit. Especially on our beach, you get a bit of grit in your release, that's it, you've had it, you're in trouble. So, what you always got to do, you get the hose, oh, make sure it's plugged in, you fire it up, give it a twiddle, and you must make sure you get the whole area up. Don't just, don't just wash it down. Make sure you get all the little bits. I'll tell you what I do. I jet and I clean it. I clean it properly. Get all the grit off. Really important. And then with the uh, harness, I get right into the jump. Right in there. You want to be getting all that salt out of there, otherwise give it a few weeks, depending how uh, how the weather is, what you're expecting. They will dry up and you won't be able to move them. So get right in there on the release. Make sure you give it a good, good wash down. I always give the board a bit of a wash. Because if you feel it, if you feel the board, you can tell, you can feel the salt on there. That's important. Once we're over, a bit more. I've given this board a little bit already anyway, but always always reach under the pads. Reach under the pads as well, because that's where you get some grip. And you don't problems there while you're on the water. Otherwise, you make the mistake of trying to do it on the water or on the beach, and that's dangerous. You just lift the bottom of the pad and get under it with water. Do the same board up. And then you're pretty much done. So that's a good way to make sure we keep your gear clean. Hope there's not too much water on that lens. <laughs>